So guys, welcome to the Alpha Foundations podcast. We are here in studio in Monticello, Florida, and we're gonna talk about why you should choose Alpha Foundations. So we actually have a past customer, Ms. Denise. How are you today? I'm great, Brent, and you? I am doing well. Thanks so much for Good. joining us. Sure. What I'm gonna ask you today is, tell me a little bit about how the process went for you. What actually made you, you know, what prompted the call to Alpha Foundations? What signs were you seeing around the house? <coughs> uh, so what actually made you pick up the phone and give us a call? Okay, so we bought our home about 32 years ago. Okay. It is a very large uh, ranch brick home, and it is about three feet off grade. So we have okay. about three feet of crawl space wow. under our home. Um, and for the first, I don't know, eight or 10 years we lived in the house, Brent, my my leather belts, my leather shoes okay. um, that were in the bottom of my closet would over a course of time develop some mold and mildew spots oh wow we we also for years noticed um a slight musty smell in okay. our home um i'm an impeccable housekeeper i am ocd to the nth degree and it was literally driving me crazy okay over the over the course of those 30 years my husband tried everything he put you know a layer of uh, very thick plastic under the house we installed ourselves some of those uh, vents that were thermostatically controlled. So the vents would turn off and on sure. depending on the temperature under the house um, and nothing seemed to work. We still had that persistent musty smell. Uh, my leather items uh, would continue to get small mildew spots on them. Um, and when you guys actually came to Monticello, okay. um, it was like a godsend for us because nice. my husband was finally tempted to not just tempted, but he followed through to okay. pick up the phone, pick up the phone and call and say, Hey, can you come out and talk to me and uh, kind of give me uh, an idea of what a fix would cost. Right. So he picked up the phone and got connected with Chris in your office. Correct. And Chris came out to the house. At that point, it was super easy process because my husband was working from home in the middle of the pandemic. Gotcha. So he was actually home to do it rather than in his office in Tallahassee. Sure. Um, Chris came out, walked him through the process. Uh, I came home from work from the restaurant and Tom filled me in on the process and we decided to pull the trigger. Gotcha. Okay, so after all these years of begging Tom, hey, I do this right. I clean up. I do everything I'm supposed to. I'm still seeing mold and mildew in the bottom of my closet. I still have that musky smell that is driving me absolutely insane. We right. got to do something. And Tom being the best husband, he is just like myself. <laughs> I'm going to do it myself. I can handle right. this. I'm a very right. handy guy. So let yep. me go to Lowe's, Home Depot, True Value, and let me lay down some moisture barrier. Uh, I'll take care of it. That didn't work. Let me go to Track Supply. Let me grab some vents put in there. Yep. Uh, you know, mechanically operated vents, that doesn't work. There's got to be something different. So enough is enough. Let me call the expert. So you called Alpha Foundations. How did it go with the appointment center setting the appointment? Was that okay? That, that went well. Okay. That went very well. Yep. Okay. So you got that. And then you saw Chris, which is our uh, residential and commercial design tech. He went out there, walked you through the process, found out exactly what you're trying to accomplish. Because I think that's the biggest thing here. You right. didn't want a Band-Aid fix. You didn't, you're tired of dealing with it. So right. He and, and the other exactly what to expect. Right. And the other thing that was uh, weighing heavily on my mind is, you know, when you live in a home that long, right, you get you get the outside looking exactly like you want it. Sure. And my concern was whatever door or closure you all put on the outside of my home, I wanted to make okay. sure that that it was not ugly. Sure. Sure. Um, and that was part of that conversation with Chris as well. Okay, so he walked you through the process, uh, mm -hmm. set expectations of what you wanted to achieve, um, because yeah, your house is very immaculate inside and outside, and having something underneath that you can't control, that had to be a little bit of level of anxiety and just, I can't get past this, this is driving me nuts. Correct. Okay, Correct. I'm with you. So the, um, the installation day, there was probably a foreman, maybe two crew members showed up. Uh, how did that process go? Did they let you know they were on running on time or did they just show up whenever they wanted to or? Yeah, no, they showed up right on time. I think Tom had it scheduled for eight, eight, eight thirty, nine 30, nine o'clock okay. in the morning. Again, I was already gone sure. um, to work. Um, and it, the process actually took a day and a half. Okay. Um, the, the young men showed up, they were super friendly. Tom said super professional. 
I was able to meet them twice in the course of that day and a half. Um, they did not leave any mess in the garden. The access okay. hole to my the access hole to our house is in the back, actually okay. in the middle of my garden. Okay. Um, so they they were really careful with my plants. Good. They they did everything um, that as a former business owner I would want my employees to do. They were professional. They were kind. They were friendly. And they, since I had not been there during the course of Tom's conversation with Chris, yes, when I got there, you know, I had like 10 questions sure. and they were super patient with me and answered all of my questions um, at the end of the process on the second day. So after lunchtime on the second day, um, I actually said, OK, you guys, I'm writing you a nice size check. I'm going to crawl under there and see what you did. <laughs> And they said, ma'am, we've never had a lady your age crawl up under the house, but okay. And I said, <laughs> you know, I've been up under this house a zillion times in 30 years. So I crawled up under there and they talked me, you know, I don't have the kind of uh, mechanical and sure. constructional kind of knowledge that my husband has. Mm -hmm. So I went up under there and they walked me through the process. They showed me how you all attach the membrane to right. the foundation of our home and how you worked around the support pillars and they showed me the the pump and the um, the dehumidifier right. and everything that was part of your process nice they they walked my non-mechanical brain through that as well so that i felt just as comfortable as my husband did with the with the process and the outcome well that's great because i know like you said most people don't really have an idea what's going on there may be experts in other areas but when you talk about uh, crawl space and the moisture remediation. That's not something that everybody is really familiar with. So going to a house, listening to someone's cus the customer's questions and you know why they want to have this done and counseling them through the process and being an advisor, that's important because it is a big decision. You want to make sure that there's quality work installed by quality people and that if you have a question or a concern that we can answer that and put your mind at ease because 32 years of living in a house, that's your baby. I mean, you have probably yep. put so much blood, sweat and tears in it. Yep. And the last thing you want to do is have a Band-Aid fix, some, uh, get you by. Uh, and that's not what we really are about. We're about permanent fixes, making the customer feel at ease and, uh, you know, putting your money to good use and mm -hmm. making sure that you have another 32 years in the house. Right. Um, so I'm glad that he was able to you know, walk you through that as well as Tom and make sure you had a good product at the end of everything. So right. it took a day and a half and that was just depending on the size of your crawl space. If it mm -hmm. was twice the size, then, you know, we'd have to allocate more days. Um, right. But the big thing you mentioned is maybe, you know, you're not there during the process. Your husband, you know, will meet the form and get him started. He is free to go do his job and come back because not everybody can take off a day and a half and just sit at their house. Right. You no know, workers are there. Uh, so we will work around your schedule and make sure that you're comfortable with the crew before you head off to work. And typically they're going to be underneath the house. Mm -hmm. um, so if anything comes up like that, you'll be you know notified and you'll be good to go. Um, so you're happy with the overall results of the clean space system? Yeah, um, several results we're super happy with. Okay. Um, we, Tom bought online somewhere, I don't know, um, a humidity uh, sensor kind of okay. kit. Yep. Um, like a and remote so hygrometer it, kind of a thing. There you go. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Brent. Um, <laughs> it, it has three sensors. So we have one sensor under the house. Sure. We have one at one end of the house where our bedroom is and one at the other end of the house where we also happen to have an Airbnb suite. Oh, nice. um, and just as a general average rule, the humidity under the house uh, where you all did your work uh, averages about 10% less than inside the home. Okay. Um, which to me indicates success, right? Right. Um, so that's a cool thing to watch, um, sure. you know, depending, and we've, we've had a tremendous amount of rain this summer. Absolutely. Um, and, and all the years that I've lived here, I can tell you this is the most rain we've had. Right. Um, some byproducts that came about because your, your crew was under our house um, we had a very, very minor water leak in uh, one of the pipes um, to the original bathroom of the home. And they were able to identify it. And subsequently, Tom was able to repair it. Good. And there was uh, even a teeny tiny uh, propane leak um, oh, wow. for the propane pipe that goes to my gas stove. Um, and you know how much I love to cook. Correct. Um, and they were able to identify that slight smell under the house the first day they were there. So Tom immediately called our local gas company. They came, repaired it real quick, 
before your guys wrapped up the ceiling under the house. So we had those two byproducts from the process, which were perfect. And the process itself actually worked fine. Nice. So yeah, we are, we are super pleased. Um, ours was done in May of last okay. year. And then so six months after they came and did the first six months follow up, changed the filter in the dehumidifier and did right. a systems, systems check and a seal check. And then they came back again six months later. So just this past May, um, and my understanding is now you guys come back once a year um, and just check on it. But yeah, every, everything has been nice. A-OK -okay with us. We're very, very pleased with it. That smell is gone in my house for the first time in years. Yeah. Um, and Was that something you were worried about, the smell? I mean, if, if you had yeah. guests over, I know you cook a lot and you entertain. Was that something Enter that was in the back of your mind? Yeah, yeah, that, that musty smell. You know, it's just a... When you get an old home, you're going to get some kind of musty right. smells. And our home was built in '61, um, and yeah, that was that was a big deal for me. Sure. Um, people come in your house, and it and it visually looks clean, but you smell something. I know. Um, and obviously, that was from all the moisture below our home, and right. that smell that smell is gone. Now it took several months, sure. and I'm sure. You know the old wood in my wood floors and everything else but yeah the smell right. is gone and that makes me super happy good well 50 percent of the air you're breathing inside your home is coming from your crawl space so any you know allergens that you have uh, that can be taken care of by the filter and the dehumidifier and like you mm -hmm. said it's going to take some time to dry out all right. the moisture in the structure of the house itself the contents of your closets that you know harbored right. all the the mold and mildew uh, so it does take some time so five or six months you still should start seeing some results i mean immediate results but you might you know might not be able to tell the actual smell difference um down underneath there you definitely can tell right away but right. inside the house because like i said the contents you know they hold some of that smell um, but people really get used to living in that. They don't under, they don't smell themselves. They don't smell their house. Um, if they go away for a vacation, come back. Sometimes that hits them like a ton of bricks as soon as they open mm -hmm. the door. And that can ask the question, does it always smell like this? Right. And the answer is yes. You know, you ask your friends and family, they say, yeah, that's how your house smells. I just thought it was how y'all smell. <laughs> <laughs> but it's coming from your crawl space. So I'm glad you right. got that worked out. So yeah, got it worked out. Well, we appreciate you so much, Miss Denise. Thank you for allowing You're our welcome. foundations to help you with all your crawl space needs. Anything else you need, let us know. But we really appreciate you having Pleasure. us on the podcast here. Pleasure. Thanks, Brent. Around town. Thanks so much. Thanks, Alpha. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Uh, you too.